Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to configure multiple database in Laravel application. So let's get started with the example. So I have already downloaded Laravel fresh application and if you go here, let me add my project over here in Sublime Editor. So if I go multiple database and if I go to the ENV, right now I am using the SQL Lite. So I will use MySQL. So let me simply use the MySQL and let me remove the comment over here. Okay, so let me go and remove this comment okay and now let me give the laravel db1 so i will create laravel db1 database in my mysql okay so let me go here and let me go to the database and let me create one okay so it's created okay now let me go here and let me define another database okay so i simply go and simply copy it okay and simply i will give the change the env variable name okay and i will say like two okay and i will create database name will be the two and here will be the connection also i will say like uh, mysql underscore two okay simply save it and now let me go to the configuration and let me go here into the database here is a mysql already so i am set on same database uh, server like mysql server if you are using sqlite or mariadb or anything you just need to simply copy that and paste it here and i will say what we pass here like mysql connection to like mysql underscore two so i will simply add mysql underscore two driver will be the mysql and here all the env variable will be changed what we did that so like db underscore two okay and simply save it okay so what that means like we simply configure like database one that is by default that is the database one and this is database two simply copy and let me create another database over here so let me go and let me create it okay okay that's it so laravel 1 and laravel db2 that's database created now let me go and run the migration okay so simply go and php artisan and migrate okay so it's run the migration and if i go to the db1 so this is our default database so it's run all the tables over here and if i go to the db2 there is no tables okay so what i will do in this example i will create two tables products and post so products will be in database one and uh, post will be in database two okay and let's get and perform okay so let me create the migration first okay let me go here php artisan mac migration okay and let me create products table okay and now if i go here and let me go to the migration okay here i will add like table string and i will say name okay simply save it and i will add text okay and i will say body okay for the product description okay and simply run the migration okay php artisan migrate okay and now if i go here still nothing into the database two but if i go here into the database one there is created products table okay now i will create the post table and that should be goes to the database two okay now if i go and let me run again the artisan command migrate sorry mac migration and i will say create post table okay and now if i go here there is also created another migration and I will define like a string and I will say title and simply go and I will add text data type and I will say body okay and simply this table I want to add to the another database so I will use connection method of the migration and then I will simply define which connection we are using on that so I will use mysql2 so simply add over here and now let me run this migration so let me go here and migrate okay it's migration migrated and now if i go here into the database 2 you can see that that created a post table okay and simply if i go to the database 1 there is a no post table okay so that means you just need to define over here as a connection okay now let me create a model for both okay so let me go here and mac model so i will say product okay it created a product table same for the post model okay and now if i go here models into the product we don't have to do anything because uh, we are using the same so i will simply 
at the field level what we have uh, the column name so i will say like name and body okay and simply save here we don't have to define which connection because we are using the default database and if i go to the post here we need to define which connection i'm going to use for post table okay so i will go protected and i will say connection okay and i will say and i will define which connection we are using so i will say post mysql2 and simply save it and here another protected and i will say fill label and i will define the column name okay so i will say title and there will be a body okay you can see that here I, we define the connection so this table will be use mysql2 database okay simply now create a let me create one record so let me create one controller and route okay controller and i will use test controller and hit enter okay now if i go here into the routes okay and let me create one route over here so i will say get and i will say create post and here i will say test controller colon colon class and i will define the name method name will be create post simply save it okay and let me use that controller as well over here app http controllers and then i will say test controller okay save it okay now if i go here into the controller file and let me create one method over here and that will be call create post create post okay and i will say dollar post and simply post and i will use the create method and then i will pass the array like title okay and i will say test and then i will pass the body so let me go in body and i will say like test body for it and simply return post okay okay simply save it okay and now if i go here and i will run the route so let me go here and i will say create post hit enter so let me run the again the project so let me go php artisan serve and hit you can see post not found so let me go and let me use that post model so i will say app models and then i will say post okay simply save it okay and hit refresh you can see that test body test body and if i go here and go to the post table you can see that it's created over here one record the okay. same thing if i want to create record for a post then what i will do i will create another route for it so i will simply copy and i will say create product and here i will say product okay simply save it okay now if i go to the controller i will simply copy and paste this one okay and i will say product and here we are using product model okay product model okay and same thing product and i will say simply column name will be the name okay simply save it okay now if i go here and i will say Okay, and hit enter there is product not found same thing we forgot to use over here model so i will say product okay and simply save it okay and if i hit refresh you can see that that created a product but if i go here into the database one that created and if i go here you can see that it created post in the different database so it's very easy in laravel application to use multiple database and with the model laravel eloquent so I hope guys this you understand very well. So this is very basic video about Laravel uh, multiple database connection. If you have any question then please comment below. And if you haven't subscribed me then subscribe me. Thank you so much for watching.